Oh, sorry if I arrived a little late. I was expecting this to be a gift to commemorate the centennial since your Independence Day against those bastards of the British Isles. Oh, don't sweat it, France. I appreciate the gesture either way. The statue looks pretty good. Did you have a name for it? La Liberté éclairant le monde. Or in English, Liberty enlightening the world. Seems about right. I understand the symbolism, all right. We are the keepers of the flame of liberty, which we will hold high for the world to see. French and American shared ideals of freedom and democracy should be a beacon of light to the rest of the earth. This statue right here embodies that very well. How could I put it? Well, I thought of it being more of a... Thank you for hazing the British and pissing them off from time to time type of gift. <laughs> I guess that works too, old buddy. Not that the statue is built out of copper, we. Oui. You should try to keep it away from most environments. Too bad it rains a ton here in New York City, and getting the funds to build the pedestal was a major pain in the neck. It seems like it's stuck here for good. Uh, I really wish I could stay for longer, but... I need to oversee the construction of a canal I'm making. Don't tell me. In the Isthmus of Panama, I have a railway connecting the Atlantic to the Pacific. We! Oui, I happen to be building a canal in the same area. Hey, what can I say? Great minds do think alike. Can I come with? Buffy! After fellow Frenchman Ferdinand de Lesses finished the Suez Canal back in 1869 and thus creating a faster route from the Mediterranean to the Indian Ocean, it was a no-brainer to do a follow-up project here. Once finished, this canal will link the Atlantic to the Pacific. You're making good progress so far. You know, I've heard it's such a drag to sail from the west coast of the United States to the east. The only route would be to sail all the way down to the tip of South America and go back up again. To think doing that is way faster than traveling on land. Man, do I need better infrastructure. This canal would reduce the sailing distance by 80,000 nautical miles. It'll save a lot of time and money for anyone looking to ship goods across the ocean. Awesome possum! Seems like you're going to accomplish just that, and I have faith in you, buddy. I'll look forward to it. It was a real pleasure to see the opening of the Eiffel Tower, France. My friends and I had a lot of fun on our trip around Europe. You got it, dog. Eric and I have never been any drunker before in our lives. Yeah, I threw up the snails we had for lunch because my stomach couldn't handle it anymore. Did you see me shotgun that beer in two seconds? I'm a rat of many talents. Yeah, dude. We ordered a boat filled with the good kush so we could have it all back home. I'm telling you, dude, we got everything. Mediterranean wine from Spain and France. German beer and schnapps, Scottish whiskey, and so on. Everything from the A to the Z, bro. <laughs> too bad it's going to take too long to arrive, though. If the boat's arriving in California, then it'll have to sail all the way down to Cape Horn and sail upwards to the west coast of the U.S. You don't have to worry about that, my inebriated friends. France will open a canal, so your stuff will arrive twice as fast and cheap. Oh man. You rock, friends. I mean it, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news this time. The project to construct the canal has been altered due to multiple reasons. At first, we thought it would be just as easy as the Swiss Canal, though we were wrong. We underestimated the rugged landscape of Panama. The region was swamped with heavy rain and disease such as malaria. Over 20,000 people lost their lives and... Ultimately, Lesseps went bankrupt and funds dried up. So I was planning on building a canal in Nicaragua. But now I'll take it upon myself to finish the project you started, France. It is now my duty to complete the Panama Canal in your name. Magnifique! 
Such an engineering feat could only be relied upon you, mon ami. Oh, you spoil me, friends. The new Panama Canal Company got a hold of the assets of the canal. I'm going to tell them to hand them over to you in exchange for a payment. We've made quite some progress digging the canal. It should give you a good starting point to continue building it. Thank you for everything, friends. Let's go, gentlemen. Au revoir, mon revoir. <laughs> Did I say that right? <laughs> I reckon this project will be of the utmost benefit for us, sir. Having control of the canal will allow us to have a vital strategic point of trade, as well as a source of income. That's right. Uh, too bad this is technically part of Colombia, and we would have to play by their rules. And that's just gonna complicate things. I've called him so we could negotiate on a land lease on the canal. Good morning. How's it going, Columbia? Meet DC, also known as the District of Columbia, which is not to be confused with you, the Republic of Columbia. Which is different from the British Columbia, but you know, to avoid any confusion, we'll just call him Washington, D.C. Which is not to be confused with the state of Washington, who is named after the one and only George Washington. Enough. I got the gist. What did you call me here for? Oh, you see, we're taking over the Panama Canal on behalf of France. So, you know, we wanted to see if we could get the territory surrounding the canal to be part of our sovereign territory. Absolutely not. I see what you're doing here. We had the recent Spanish-American War to prove it. What are you talking about, man? Don't play dumb with me. You're creating an empire of your own. And in the process, you're taking advantage of countries like mine to expand your influence. I won't give away my sovereignty for your own sake. What a drag. I guess he's not very fond of us, huh? We are still able to build the canal though, sir. Albeit technically in a foreign country, we will have to abide by the local laws and demands of the government. Yeah, it's such a drag, DC. We're going to need the Navy. Be sure to give him a call. Are we overthrowing the Colombian government? That won't be necessary. Yet. We will use our diplomacy. Gunboat diplomacy. Good old Panama, tell me, instead of being a region of Colombia, say, wouldn't it be cool for you to be your own country? Emancipation, huh? Interesting. Is this an offer? You got that right. Surely any rebellious attempts to secede would be immediately squashed by Colombia. After all, you're just a small country. Huh. Sadly, that seems to be the case. <laughs> then worry not. I will protect you from the Colombian government's wrath once you declare independence. All I'm asking for is a little favor. Of course. What do you have in mind? For your independence, I'm going to ask for the Panama Canal Zone in return. We can discuss the details later. Deal. Where are you running away to? Your pathetic excuse for a rebellion ends now. Sorry, Colombia, but if Panama wants to be free, then I say just let him be. Don't intervene. This is none of your business. Oh, but I think I will. You see, if you're looking to invade Panama to take it back, my navy's gonna have to intervene. Why are you doing this? Because I recognize the independence of Panama. In my eyes, it has the right to be a sovereign country. Right, little guy? Indeed. I don't wish to be a part of you anymore. You will pay for this. Think again, man. Trust me. I don't want to start a war with you. 
Besides, we both know who will ultimately win. Panama, you fool. You sold yourself to the United States. He's only here for his own imperialist interests. Yeah, yeah, off you go, Columbia. Thank you for protecting me. Sure thing. You can thank me by handing me the Panama Canal Zone. I'll let DC negotiate it with you. So, how did things go, DC? In the hay banal Varilla Treaty, it was agreed that the Panama Canal Zone would be established as an unincorporated territory of the United States, consisting of the future canal and the area extending five miles on either side of its center line. It was handed over to us in exchange for defending Panama during its rebellion, as well as the payment of an initial sum of $10 million and a yearly fee of a quarter million dollars. Gunboat diplomacy never fails. Let's finish this canal. This is it, gentlemen. The canal is complete. Of course, it wasn't without sacrifice and engineering prowess. But this is the United States of America we are talking about. We rock. This Panama Canal is pretty rad, dude. Panama Panal? Callie, be real with me for a second. Were you on drugs this whole time? Yes, sir. You want some? <clears throat> so, are we expecting any customers, DC? What about Europe? Sir, Europe has been at war for over a month now. My guess is that their war efforts may halt their trade. Oh, well, Europe's at it again, I guess. Anyway, how do you like my Panama hat, DC? Good old Teddy Roosevelt used to wear these. Actually, sir, I believe those hats are made in Ecuador. It's just that they're sold here. You know what else happens to be Ecuadorian? What would that be, sir? Well, you and I. This is technically an Ecuadorian cartoon. A uh, coral tea is from Ecuador. Yeah, I have no clue where that even is, but that's a fun little bit of trivia for you. <laughs> 